In this video, we are going to prove that uh, all second order linear homogeneous ODE admit at least symmetries and uh, that mean all linear homogeneous second order ODEs are equivalent and there is uh, no difference uh, among them so let's start uh, uh, we know that uh, are the one who didn't know it uh, please uh, consult the previous lectures or any sort of uh, symmetry book uh, for the symmetries of uh, uh, differential equations so we all know that uh, the equation uh, the equation y double dash equal to 0 admit at least symmetries so we want to prove that uh, <clears throat> all linear homogeneous uh, do the same mean they will admit uh, at least symmetries so if we consider a second order differential equation linear of this type uh, equal to 0 so it is linear and will have the solution the solution uh, of this equation uh, will be of this uh, so solution is c1 y1 plus c2 y2 where y1 and y2 are a solution of equation 1 So we can write uh, this solution y is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 so we can write it uh, y over y1 is equal to c1 plus uh, c2 y2 over y1 so if we let uh, that uh, capital y is y over y1 and capital x is uh, y2 over y1 then this equation 2 equation 2 can be written is capital Y is equal to C1 plus C2 X and we see that uh, Y dash is C2 which implies that y double dash equal to 0 and we know that this equation admit at least symmetries so this equation so that what that mean that um, by this transformation we can change any differential equation into the canonical this is the canonical 
technical form of equation one so you see the equation one is this uh, so that is the that is the canonical form of equation one and the canonical form of equation one uh, admit at will admit at least some it is we know that so let's see an example uh, we have a quick example for it um, y double dash plus y equal to zero and that mean uh, y double dash equal to minus y so we know the solution of this equation is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and y divided by cos x so cos y over cos x c1 plus c2 and that is sin x over cos x so that is a capital y c1 plus c2 capital x so what is the capital y capital y is small y over cos x and capital x is uh, sin x over cos x which is in fact 10x using these variable transformation we have to prove that in fact y double dash is zero so let's see it so i'm writing it again capital y is small y over cos x that is y secant x and capital x is uh, 10x so capital y dash is in fact d capital y d capital x and that must be equal to capital y x plus capital y small y small y dash capital x x that is the derivative partial derivative of the capital x partial derivative of the capital x with respect to y and y dash and that is equal to you see what is a y dash so you see y of x y of x is a uh, y so let's first uh, find out these y, capital y x is uh, y secant x 10 x in capital uh, x is secant square x capital y y that is secant x so capital x y is zero so putting all these value over here we get uh, y capital y dash is uh, y x is y secant x 10x plus capital Y capital Y is secant x and y dash divided by capital X x is secant square x and capital Y x y is 0 so that's all so y dash and simplification if we simplify it we will get y um, using uh, technometry and simplify it we will get i think sin x over here and uh, from here we get y dash and cos x 
so that is capital y dash so capital y dash is y sin x plus y dash cos x now uh, capital y double dash that will be capital y y plus capital y um, differentiating with respect to y oh this first one is with respect to x that is x with respect to y y dash and capital y differentiated with respect to y dash y double dash and it will remain the same because it is dx so capital x x plus capital x y y dash so from here we can find capital oh this is y dash y dash y dash yeah so capital y x is a capital y dash x so differentiating this whole thing with respect to x so that is y cos x minus y dash sin x now capital y dash y and that will give me only sin x and capital y dash y dash and that will give me only cos x and we know that x x is a secant square x and x y is zero so putting all these values we see that capital y double dash is equal to this first value y cos x minus y dash sin x then value from here capital y dash y is sin x so that is y dash sin x and this one capital y dash y dash is cos x so that is plus y double dash cos x and the whole is divided by secant square x okay <coughs> so this is plus this is plus you see here it is plus sign so they cancel out and these two are e equal with the opposite sign because we know that uh, from the equation we know that y double dash is equal to minus y so putting this over here we cancel them so and that prove that y double dash is zero so what we proved that for these two equation y double dash is uh, my plus y equal to zero and capital y double dash equal to zero are equivalent and there is a, there exists a transformation to go from here to here or from here to here by capital y is equal to um, small y secant x and capital x equal to 10 x by this transformation we can transform 1 into 3 so that that is an example that is an example we can always do we can always do this thing y double dash p of x y dash q of x uh, y 
equal to zero we can transform it capital y dash equal to zero by the transformation taking capital y to be y which is the solution of this equation by y1 this is the general solution and this is the particular one oh not particular one but this is the first part of the solution the first part of the um, fundamental set and taking x to be y2 over y1 taking this transformation we can always transform this equation into this one and when we transform in this one we know that uh, it has eight symmetries so if it admit eight symmetries it also admit eight symmetries by back transformation this is the transformation you we can go back and forth in the two equations so uh, this transformation if we have symmetries in this shape we can always back transform the symmetries in this shape so that means linear homogeneous um, linear homogeneous so second order differential equation admit all symmetries regardless regardless of their shape uh, whatever is this, their shape is and in the next video we are going to to prove that uh, the non homogeneous non homogeneous also do the same that mean the non homogeneous all linear non homogeneous linear non homogeneous second order differential equation admit it symmetries and we will prove it in the next video Thank you very much.